Greetings and welcome to another exciting episode of Poet to Poet. I'm Robert Dunn and I have the distinction of hosting this taffy poll and tonight we're coming to you from a strange and wonderful place indeed. Well, strange anyway. We're in the wilds of Queen's Village in a place called the Vault. That is the Queen's Village Vault. Don't get it mixed up with those imitations you hear about in Manhattan and other places. Uh, and we're somewhere in the wilds of Springfield Boulevard and surrounded by rubber plants and other fun things and a couple of fascinating guests because we have Ms. Claudie over here who uh, borrowed my hat for the occasion. And we also, we also have the proprietor of the vault stopping in for a moment, Tony Belisi over here. And uh, it is going to be a wild show. Let's start with, let's start with you, Tony. We'll get right into it. Um, how did you determine that Queen's Village was ripe for culture? I just always knew it was a cesspool of uh, talent here. I've lived here for a number of years and mm -hmm. met a lot of talented people and <laughs> glad to give them a chance to perform. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, you've drawn some uh, pretty hot crowds here. Yeah, we have a lot of fun here. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the reasons that you draw these crowds, I think, is because of the stuff that you put out yourself. Uh, before we uh, hit you for a poem, I was noticing your attire there, and I was wondering, uh, Van Buren, was that Martin or Abigail? I think it was Martin. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, after all, he was no, president. Anyway. He was the president. I don't think they named it. At one was. point or another. Well, how about a poem, then? <laughs> okay. In honor of Abigail, I guess. This is called, uh, <laughs> And Then What? <clears throat> you are the man of the moment. We look to you to see what soon will become. We'll give you mastery of the kingdom. We may even let you rule. Thumbs down on insurrection, put the torch to every fool. But in time, you lose your sense of humor, soon followed by your sense of honor. And as the world comes tumbling down around you, not as all is expected, you try to structure until doomsday, and you can still lecture till you're tired and still only leave them in the hallway. Forever taking matters into your own hands, well, you could be inspired by God, or you might just be odd. And then what? <laughs> you hear that? People are throwing change at you for that. Yeah, that's beautiful. Uh, I prefer folding money myself. Now, mm -hmm. the vault is actually a very freewheeling and uh, stimulating performance space. And mm -hmm. uh, aside from this show that we're doing right now, what is the most stimulating and weirdest uh, event that you have ever run in this, in this lovely facility? Well, our motto here is fear no art, uh -huh. so you can imagine anything can happen here. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say totally rude and outrageous night was a pretty sick event that we had. <laughs> I mean, it's but pretty, it could be rude and outrageous any night, but especially mm -hmm. that night. And women's voices is always very fascinating. Mm -hmm. Are they rude and outrageous too? No, there's uh, nothing like that. Uh, it's... <laughs> Shucks. I wasn't invited. <laughs> well, next time. She'll, she'll, we'll fix that up a little later. Sure. Um, speaking of fearing no art, I can I can lick any poem into place, so why don't you read another one? <laughs> oh, thanks. Okay, <laughs> set me up nicely for that. Mm. This is called The uh, Calming Effect. Glued to boxes in boxes, bound by walls so to feel secure, living as though immortal with only strengths displayed. The price of when it's all handed to you is that you never have to use your wings. Never thinking to ask why, it's just something to do till you die. Promise success that was no one's to give. It's good for your stomach, it's good for your hair. Insipid needs determine each of us unaware. Meanwhile, there's a rotting. Elastic heroes wink and smile in a fantasy devoid of stress. They're first in line every time and they know exactly how to dress. Fads appear, then disappear. It's popularity out of fear. Your head's out of water, but there's nothing really clear. Best to keep things going as planned, but planned by whom? Meanwhile, you're such easy bait for scoundrels and prophets of doom. Rehearsing forever what was or will be, but it's only one part in the play, built by the people who live by the times, watching a neat little world decay. Mm -hmm. Scoundrels, huh? You, you flatter me. Now, before you go rushing off, you have a hot ha uh, racquetball. Uh, appointment, I understand, but uh, it might be just a racket. Um, I never know. Um, we'd like you to slip one little uh, signature piece in before you uh, rush okay. off to the courts there. Sure, love to. This is called Battle Scarred. 
Who was it that said that we make the very best machines and the loveliest of slaves? Forever lying on the floor as if celebrating the effects of gravity, lying to ourselves, squandering time, doubting our visions in the face of the wind that brings the rain, drawing a sweet image of tomorrow, really just yesterday's synthesis, while pretending it's so glorious, so immediate. But where's the passion, the scars, the bloodied corpses, the retching, heaving agony of souls so painfully yet gloriously learning through the errors of their ways? And who was it that decided that the future, like a Disney world, needed to be contrived? And so, free to roam streets of oblivion, with mental instability we drive, in moral constipation we thrive, on the wing of insanity arrive, only to die anyway, while living as in a closet. It's enough to make the hair fall out of your head. It's enough to make you run to your nearest dispenser of anguish relief. Be he an acceptable white smock or not so acceptable pistol packing regalia, bargaining for a swift painless death, and so out of breath, we see that hell is something that is created and not dropped into. <laughs> I told you Manhattan was cribbing its stuff from here. In any event, uh, Tony Belize, thanks for dropping by. Yeah, it's great to I mean, be here. Funny I should say that. It is your place, yeah, after I, all. Yeah, it's still good to <laughs> stop by. And uh, we'll be back in a moment with Miss Claudie, so uh, don't go away.